Hey right, boy, wanna go do some fishing? So, it's officially the longest day of the year. First day of summer. And uh, <clears throat> it's officially the first day of summer and we're gonna take the boat out to Crowley and see if we can catch some perch. Longest day of the year. Yeah, longest day of the year. First day of summer, all that good stuff. So it was warm earlier. It seems like it's kind of cooled off a little bit, but uh, let's go check it out and see how it goes. So we made it to the lake. Seems like it's pretty calm. Not too bad at all. We're gonna... We're gonna drop this little boat in and uh, get out there on it. Their first time on a boat. <laughs> well, they went. They went when we. Fishing like right, like on the edge of the leaves. Seems to. Hmm. I think I saw one jumping right there, right at the point that little peninsula was. Uh, That water's coming in pretty good right there. Huh? Water. <laughs> fish on. <laughs> Look at him. Oh boy. That's two fish tacos right there, bud. <clears throat> yeah, he's not too bad. wants him huh yeah he was like he was licking him he was like oh i like him he's a good like one fish bud wants a fish can't go <laughs> can't go okay bud where's he at i don't know oh oh yeah that's, oh, that's a white fish it's a white... here that was big no, they're no. starting to come online 
Bud, what do you think? He's like, oh, I like it. Sadie's starting to pay attention now. What are you guys doing? She was sleeping. The bugs getting you? Huh? Yeah. Oh, we got a trout on. We got a trout on. This guy's, this guy's got power. Should I tighten that drag a little? Cause he nope, 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 nope. Just keep it tight. Keep it tight. You got it. He's fighting. Whoa, come on. Come on, boy. I think it might be a white fish. I don't know. Nope, well, that's, a power, that's, a, that. that's a trout. That's a trout. He ain't he ain't giving up. You got a net? Yeah. That's a decent. Oh, yeah, that's a decent oh, trout. Yeah. That's a, oh yeah, that's, that's a nice a one. Oh, that's a rainbow, huh? Yeah, get that. the net, net that, that guy. Bad, net boy. that guy. He Don't want to come get, in, no, keep him in the water. Keep him in the water. Right there. there you go. Look at that. Netted oh, that yeah. baby. Oh yeah. That was a good size. That's one, a nice trout. Trout naked. Good boy. job. Nice Woo. That's what I'm talking about. That's out. Woo. I think you might have swallowed it though, unfortunately. That's okay. We're keeping this guy. Man, you got to gill him. Gill him. Gill him. By the gill. There you go. You got one of those. Uh... Hold him up. There we go. <laughs> nice. Mammoth Mountain Life, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Probably got a trout. He's got a. It's in the weeds. Huh? I think it's in the weeds. Oh. All the fish? Yeah. Dang it. <clears throat> oh, did you see that one jump? Yeah. Got fish on here. And we got a fish on here. Oh yeah. Here we go. Oh he's a Oh yeah. He's a beast. Look at him. He's a good size one. Sadie and butter into it. We like this fishing. These fish are pretty tasty. Yeah, this little cove is not bad. Good day. <clears throat> well, we got in a little late. It's almost 10 o'clock. These guys are out here flaying these fish up. We got a pretty good haul. I'll take it away in your bag and see your uh, Our little little uh, yeah. fish cleaning station here. So I'm taking Arno around. Hi. He's uh, he's doing a project in Lone Pine, and uh, I wanted to show him uh, some of the stuff we did in Mammoth. So we came over to Tom's place on uh, 204 Rainbow, and uh, this was this addition was done back in 2016-17. Uh, so just kind of checking on, seeing how things are looking. It looks great. And uh, we're going to go look at a few projects around Mammoth and uh, <clears throat> 
this one here was a challenge at all these rocks a lot of rocks to deal with on this project basically this rock wall we built we didn't want to lose any of the rocks so we just kind of stacked it all it needs to be restacked at some point but uh it definitely makes a little border here this was a this was a challenging build here so now we're over here at 42 aspen and uh i'm showing arno the project that we did last year for jay and so underneath this was actually um it was all open under here right. that was not a bedroom yeah. so it was like this over here how that's open underneath you, yeah. so what we had to do we had to support this with like temporary supports and then we had to do a foundation under here so we did this foundation right. right and uh so basically we had at one point we had a we had a huge beam a temporary beam going across uh -huh. and then we had a post way out here and a post out there and it was holding this whole upper area yeah. then we poured all the foundation and then we framed up to the existing and put it all together and now right. it's a bedroom so looks like they're they're getting through the drywall here and then i did this whole back addition here i don't know if it's easier to go that way let's see if we can go this way so here we did um just be real careful <clears throat> So kind of a mess. I mean, everything's kind of, we're just getting it. It's only been about two weeks. Uh, so you can see the snow is still here. Watch your step right here. Maybe here, hold on, let me flip this over. That's not gonna do it. Uh, go ahead, go. He's going by. So there was a lot of snow here. Yeah. So this one here, It was a big addition on the back here. Spa area over here. So that's looking pretty good. Now we just got the rest of the house to do to match. So you can see we got to get that. Soames called us for this and we're going to get guys over here to start demoing that chimney next week and uh keep plugging along on this and try to get this thing wrapped up this season the uh that deck on top is going to take some kind of a modern railing kind of like with the one we just oh, drove yeah. by so mm -hmm. it's going to look just like that so we're up here at rogers we're going to check out uh nathan's project with arnie arno and uh i was going to show him these sips panels those are uh, closer to 14 inches thick, I believe. But um, these are all prefab panels that are going to uh, kind of plug and play on this house, which the foundation is back here. We'll go look at that in just a sec. be finished with this lower one then Monday we're gonna break down the scaffolding and start on these two peaks here while the guys erect our smaller scaffolding so we can start hitting all these ones that are under 20 feet and our big scaffolding will be up here at about 30 feet and the guys will just leapfrog over and over again. Got 
those three beams set. House is clean. All floors. It's looking like a house. <clears throat> nice clean house. All right, just finishing up right now. Just uh, grinding down the last weld. All the places that we mended it, re-welded. We had to put the torch to the bottom of them. Strap off to the trees there. Bend these things back. Completely redo the ends. New handles. This side was completely crushed, mangled. So we cut it off, put new pieces on, fab these up, got to put the heat to it, bend it back. So now they're nice and straight. I just need a little coat of paint on them now, just like new. Very nice. All right, so this afternoon we are headed over to Lone Pine. We met with Arno this morning up in Mammoth. He's the owner of the Project Farsight, which is a, uh, it's a really nice um, modern home that um, they're proposing to build down here in Lone Pine. So now I'm going to uh, go meet at the site and take a closer look at the site itself. And we're gonna start putting together some preliminary uh, stuff on this project and you know, hopefully we can be involved with it. It seems like it's a really neat project. So I'll be really, uh, really happy to be a part of it. So let's get out there and see what it looks like. Alabama Hills. Sorry about the bugs. It's tough to keep these windshields clean. So we're going up through Alabama Hills and towards Mount Whitney. That's where this project's located back up in here look at those look at that mountain range yeah, those formations are insane oh wow never been back here so very cool movie flats Formations are just insane. Oh, I know. So this is Project Farsight. That's Mount Whitney in the background there. Beautiful. And you can see 395 corridor, Lone Pine is down. 
down there. Look at that, I didn't see that on the way in. I don't just drive over there and look at that. <laughs> Somebody painted on the rocks. Might as well. So that was Arno's place back there. Beautiful area. A little windy back there. Seems like it's, uh, I know it's always windy here quite often. <clears throat> but uh, it's definitely a really cool spot right at the base of uh, Mount Whitney there. And these are the, a lot of old westerns and stuff were filmed out here. Well, that's something else, isn't it? Look at those columns. Those rock formations are insane. I would love to know what, what caused those. Never seen anything quite like that before. I've seen a lot of different formations. Those are very unique. This is where the river tore up the road a bit or caused it to start failing it <clears throat> from what I've heard. You can see them right there. They're doing their thing. Got that excavator out on the edge there. Yeah, it's ripping right here. <clears throat> 